Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're coming across an issue on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer that says this file does not have a program associated with it for performing this action. Please install a program or create an association. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, you'll come back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. So in order to create a backup, all you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup, and then set export range to all, and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start by double clicking on the H key classes root folder. So go ahead and double click on that. So you want to click on a random folder and type in LNK file. It looks like an I, but it's really an L. So again, LNK file. You want to locate a value in here that says is shortcut. If you don't see this string value, you'd right click in a blank area, select new and then string value. And you would name it exactly what it says here. So again, is shortcut, lowercase is. So capital IS and then shortcut, S-H-O-R-T-C-U-T. And then there shouldn't be any data in here. It should be empty across from it. So if you double click on it, value data should be empty. And then once you know what that, you would go ahead and actually close out of the registry editor. And you would want to restart your computer. So there you go, guys. That should have resolved the program association error message that you were receiving. So, as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.